What's happening, everybody? Really excited for the third section of our Facebook training. And this one is one of the ones that's just like, it's simple. It's easy to do, and it's actually a lot of fun. So a lot of people don't have any resistance to this part. Maybe you're resistant to posting. Maybe you're resistant to going live. Maybe adding people as friends. You're like, oh, I don't know about growing my Facebook. However, if you do those things, I'm telling you, it works. And this next step, the engage step, remember, it's post, grow, and engage. The engage step is kind of the glue that pulls it all together. And this is one of those things where it really creates a community. It creates a relationship. It creates fun. And I want you to think about this. The purpose of Facebook was to create an environment virtually or online in the cloud where you can build a relationship and community with people that you're not necessarily in proximity with. And it's an amazing platform and tool. And Facebook has built this whole system. They're called the algorithm. I don't like to use that word a lot because it just and it, it just gets too techy and computery. So I like to think of uh, Facebook as trying to create the most community possible, the most connection possible. But if you want to think of it as the algorithm, algorithm, go ahead. So think about this. The engagement section that we're going to talk about here in a second is so important. Because what is it, it tells Facebook is that you're friends with these people and that you have a relationship and that you're engaged with each other and that you're communicating and that Facebook should show you their stuff and them your stuff. And as a result, it creates this connection, this community and Facebook sees you post We're like, oh, let's put it in front of them. And it sees you post and it goes like it becomes this community, it becomes a relationship. So I don't want you to worry about the word algorithm or how to beat the algorithm. I want you to think in your mind, how can I create more engagement? How can I create more community? How can I increase that know, like, and trust factor? And the way that you do that is through real, real conversation, real like energy, right? And the easiest way to do that is just to engage consistently. So we're going to talk about what engage is, how you do it specifically. And I'm going to give you some parameters so that you're going to do it consistently. It's one thing to do it once, but it's another thing to do it each day in, day out, day in, day out, and actually create that relationship. So what is engaging? Engaging is simple. It's kind of the stuff that you like to do anyways, right? You're pulling up Facebook or Instagram or whatever you're using. You're going to your feed, and then you're scrolling. Now, I like to call it scroll with intention, not just scroll and watch silly videos, but scroll and start commenting on people that you know's posts. So it looks like 32 wonderful years of marriage. Well, that's an easy one. Boom, I drop a comment. Instead of just saying happy anniversary like everybody else, I could say something like, oh, that's a great picture. Or, oh my gosh, tell me, give me a tip. I'm only on year 17 or 16. You know, something like that where you're creating engagement. So scrolling with a purpose. Here's another one. Happy 32nd birthday. I could put something, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Your family looks amazing. And maybe ask a question, create engagement. Now I'm scrolling and I'm intentionally commenting on people, right? That I'm maybe not connected yet with Improve It. They're already like, they're part of somebody else's community in Prove It or they're part of my team. You don't need to go in and spend a ton of time engaging with them because what uh, Facebook will do is say, oh, look, you're Improve It, they're Improve It. You only want prove it stuff. So then it only shows your stuff to prove people and, and their stuff to you. You stop seeing any of your other friends. So my encouragement is go engage like crazy on people who are not yet drinking ketones. Because guess what will happen? Facebook will say, oh, they're friends. They're, they like each other. Uh, we're going to show them more of your posts. You're posting about great life. You're following the post strategy. On occasion, you're posting about ketones. They're like, oh, look at these ketones. Okay, so that's step number one is... I got water on my shirt. It looks like I have a stain. It's not stain. It's it's water. <laughs> um, step number one is scroll your feed. Easy, easy, easy. Step number two is go to the stories. Go to the stories. And now you can actually engage in these stories. Now, here's what's cool. You can write a comment. This is probably one of the coolest parts of stories, meaning when you write a comment, guess where it goes? It goes to their messenger. So this is Jeff McComb. Um, looks like they're at a beach somewhere. He's a chiropractor where I'm at. I would say, hey, are you there right now? He's either saying happy birthday to his wife or he's at the beach. I could say, hey, are you there right now? Looks beautiful. Where is that? Andrea, um, so I bought a dog. Oh, a dog bed. She's got a dog bed. And I could say, oh my gosh, my dog sleep on my bed too. And then we have beds all over our house. If I put that into the message, it goes into the inbox, into her messenger. And now we have a dialogue in there. If I engage and create conversation, do this 
right? Set a timer and scroll through stories for five minutes. And again, you're doing it with the purpose of creating engagement, creating fun. Oh my gosh, look how cute her daughter is with the little hat and twirling a baton. My mom always used to talk about doing that. Like that's easy way to create conversation. All right. So one is scroll the feed. Two is go through the stories. Three is super simple. All you have to do on Facebook to find birthdays is click the little search bar up here. And then you're going to type in birthday. And you'll see the very top one says birthdays. You're going to click on it. And it shows you everyone who has a birthday today. And I wouldn't just say happy birthday. I would say, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Uh, it's your birthday. What are you most excited about? Or ask them a question or sing them a song or send them a message, have some fun with it, right? And that's the birthday. Now you should be doing that every day. Guess what? If you do birthdays every day, you'll touch everyone in your Facebook at least once a year. You're not saying anything about ketones. The purpose is truly to create that community. So this is engage. Scroll the feed. Scroll your stories, comment, leave hearts, but create engagement, create dialogue, birthdays. If you do that, you're going to have enough conversations going. You're not going to have to go cold message people, right? Because you're already engaging with. You can always ask them, hey, are you drinking ketones yet? Hey, out of left field, are you drinking ketones yet? That's an easy question to insert in there. But this is going to create that relationship. It's going to create that conversation, right? And communication. And as a result, Facebook's going to look at you and say, oh, they're friends. And it's going to really make it go around. So my encouragement to you is three times a day for either five minutes or 10 minutes, five minutes, minimum 10 minutes. You don't need more than that. And do those three things. So maybe it's two minutes, two minutes, one minute, or it's, you know, three minutes, three minutes, three minutes, just divide it out, set in a timer, set an alarm. Don't get lost in the scroll. Don't start clicking on reels and just going like this. Don't start clicking on videos. But do that, and I'm telling you, it's going to be super powerful. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hope that was helpful for you, and we will talk to you all soon. Bye.